Hello and thank you for watching the Translator product video, Creating Virtual Drives Using Translator 6. We're going to spend some time here learning how to make a virtual drive, which is basically an image, out of a proprietary disk using Translator 6. Now there's another way of doing this. You can do this through disutility using any OS X. And here's disutility and we have a, a Kai CD listed in there and you can use this utility, as you can see, you can create a disk image. Make sure you select read write. You can do it that way. But one of the problems with this utility is that it's quite picky. Uh, if it hits an error or does any type of tries to do any type of error correction, it'll just say nope. I I won't even read it and I won't write it and then you cancel and then you lose the virtual drive. Period. The advantage of doing it through Translator is that. Translator has some error correction in it, but if it fails, it'll just keep going because on a sampler CD, you may not care about if there's certain sectors that are bad or whatever. So it allows you to get this virtual drive no matter what the condition of the drive is. Now the errors may be fatal, but more often than not, they're not. So here's how you make a virtual drive using Translator of a proprietary disk. So you can see we've got an Akai CD listed uh, and to make a virtual drive, you right, usually re just right click on this and go create virtual drive. Another way of doing it is going up to operations and going create virtual drive there. And you can see it's listed there or listed there, but it's easier just to do it off the interface. So you create virtual drive and it'll ask you copy the entire physical drive. So it's determined that the physical drive on the CD is 520 megabytes. Or you can copy the formatted part, which is also 520, or copy a minimum size, or you've got custom. Custom is where maybe you want to make a limited virtual drive uh, for uh, bug reports or something like that. And you'd start at whatever sector, and you can see it shows you what megabytes or kilobytes it is. And you can read the amount of sectors. So you can see it'll tell you how much you'd be reading. But let's just do the copy entire physical drive. Most of the time, this is what you want to do. So we'll click Create. And it'll ask you the name of the drive. And you'll go into your Images folder. And for us, we'll, we made some folders ourselves of what these things are. And let's just call this Akai Test. And the extension is always DMG. So you can see that there. And now it's creating the virtual drive. Now at first it'll just go through the beginning sectors and make sure it can read it all and then just go through things megabyte by megabyte. Okay, we can see that it's getting down to the wire here to where it's 518, 519, 520, and it's done. So just click OK and you will find, you might have to refresh here, a Kai test under the virtual drives. And you select it. And then you can see everything listed and you can view things and play things. Uh, it's highly recommended to use virtual drives instead of the actual CDs in Translator because it's just that much faster to convert things. In fact, it, up to about 10 or 20 times faster. And besides, it's also good to have backups of your CDs in case that they go under, or you can just have it on your CD at the ready instead of having to go out and pull out the CD that you want. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the creating virtual drives using Translator 6 instead of Disutility. You'll find this pretty helpful. Thank you very much and have a nice day.